There we go. The room is kind of messy. Oh. Whoopsies. Mother effer. I should have put the glasses on before the headphones. There we go. Much, much better. Reticles, hi. I see you joined. Pop out chat. Wait. There it is. At least I think you did. It looks like you did. There you are. There you are. Where's my scenes? <sighs> what is this? Oh, this is be Lego. Oh, hey, Holly. <gasps> Taylor, thank you for the heart, me. Welcome back. Oh, no problem, Ryan. You're good. Yeah, no, I, I refilled my water. I was snacking, and I organized some more. <clears throat> Perf. Thank you so much for the furious fire, Taylor. Um, oh shit, I need my controller. Motherfucker. One second. You know what's really, really weird, guys? How clean my room is. So, you guys remember all the, the trash. Hi, Jose, welcome back. Check this out. Look at this. There's no trash bags. Well, okay, this drawer, this is my drawer. But back there, no more trash bags. It's just clean. And I vacuumed. I, I, I scrubbed the wall. Well, I was wiping it down with a wet wipe. But, like, it's coming along. And I don't know if you guys saw my latest video. But you'll see part one of me cleaning my um, vaulted shelf. So, we're getting there. A lot of fucking dust. A lot of dust. Is that working? Okay. Making sure. Oh, uh, yes. <clears throat> it is. It's definitely feeling better. Look at this Sims 2. Dude, yeah. It was... Can you not? This... That fuck... That USB port, I, I swear... Multiplayer? Deleted sim, huh? Nah, we don't need to do that. Yeah, no, so that was pretty rough. Um, it was literally snowing. It was it was like a dust. It was a light dusting of dust. <laughs> but it was crazy. So... Oh, shit, I didn't read that. Oh, look at that! Oh. Welcome back, Reticles! I feel like I'm getting whiffs of cheese on my lips. So I've been... I've got one more, like, enough bread to make another big sandwich, so I'm going to have that tomorrow, either before or after work, and then, um, which I'm excited about, but I, I, what I've been doing, because I want to save my bread for tomorrow for my actual meal, I will grab cheese, and then I, and I put, I grabbed a slice of Swiss cheese, and then I had, like, two slices of turkey, and then I slapped some, uh, mayonnaise on there, and I'll give it a little rub in there, and then you get a nice little handful of spinach, and I just kind of fold it like a taco and then I was eating that right literally right before stream then I had another one but I just did cheese and spinach and that, that like you know but dude I'm probably not gonna shit again good thing I got prune juice <laughs> good thing I discovered prune juice huh guys yeah cuz um I had two slices of cheese today and I had three slices yesterday so we'll fucking see we'll see how body does oh also update for everybody I remade my mom's Lego minifigure um, the back of the minifigure now says her name instead of Mama Ride. So I'm going to try it that way and see if that'll work. I did that before I went and did my outing today. 
Um, so that order is in. The other stuff, like the book um, that I got her, that should come separately. Uh, I think that'll be here actually Friday, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah. Guess we'll see. All right, Dorito. Maybe I should try to make more monies. Oh, I'm, I'm already throw up -y. All right, never mind. Is this my house? Sure isn't, but they have a medicine cabinet, right? Why is this picture frame like lopsided? I don't want to. I don't want to like do that. Do they have a medicine cabinet? Fuck. How do I vomit? In the trash? Not trash. Vomit. There it is. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, literally, they're based. They're all my homes. I'm just gonna make myself comfortable. Oh, now I gotta shower. Did not mean to do that. Um, chat with someone, earn a charisma skill point, earn a mechanical skill point. Charisma's kind of a lot, though. I can chat with somebody. She's crazy. Oh, she's a little... Oh, that's right, we're friends now. I forgot. We're kind of believing her story. She might not be the bad guy. Aww. Did we? Cleave habitus um carried in us um era ora ethan. What are we at with her? This game is so fucking weird. Such a weird ass game. Oh, we're angry. <laughs> what do we have with her? Wow, none of them. We have none of these. We have this. Well, hang on. Did we get anything from intimidating her? Can we get a secret this way? Oh, <gasps> it sounds like she said that hurt. Bila. Bila. My, my, Yama. Red, thank you for the heart, me. Ooh, ooh. Almost missed that one. Oh, shit. Thank you, Red, for the shiny air balloon. If I already have to sacrifice a relationship, let me see if there's a secret this way. Red, thank you for the hand hearts. Can't stop a man's heart just by glancing at him, the evil eye. We did. Now we go back. Now we apologize. Lose the relationship. And then we go and build everything up back up. Perf. We're so good. Red, thank you for all the heart puffs. Oh shit, it's been a minute. Oh my gosh, you guys, that Thai food, so fucking good. I had Thai uh, tea, was that what it was? It was so fucking good. So fucking good. Would have it again. I wasn't sure if there was um caffeine in it, but um it was good. Really good. I don't know if there I don't think so, right? Shit. Okay. I know, right, Jackson? This is the um this is oh so Aaron, this is the Sims 2 PSP edition. Yeah, it was so fucking good. It was such a good drink. Holy shit. Then I mixed it all in and it looked like buffalo. <laughs> like a buffalo drink. Um, but yeah, all the food was good too. Like I would definitely want it. I want to go back. I want to try. It. They have duck there, and I kind of want. I still want to try duck, you guys. I'm a little nervous of doing it, of course. And I'm told it's gamey, right? I'm sure. I think we've talked about it on here too. But like, how would you guys describe it? Others, uh, my friend at the restaurant described it gamey as more like could be earthy, kind of like an earthy flavor to it. Oh, it's coffee. Okay. Dabbles in home remedies and loving arsenic. Bitter almonds and... Okay. That was the secret? Huh. Okay. 
Time to flatter. Bliftika. That was easy. Yeah, I definitely want to give it a, yeah, for sure, right? I want to just try it. So good. Why was it only one in interaction? Was he just that good? Oh my gosh. That easy? Why is it so easy? Is it because our skills are getting good? Maybe it's our charisma. That's crazy. We have to usually work for this. That's cool. That's nice. It's not as repetitive. This makes the game a little bit better, actually, because the, the, the social is fun. Don't get me wrong. But when you have to keep repeatedly doing it, ugh. It definitely gets old. Oh, that was the... I was trying to think. What was I thinking that was social? That was also socially, like, repetitive. The DS. The DS version. That one got really repetitive. Hazel's got a thing for guys with money. A thing called bad luck. Okay. We got all her secrets. Should I really sell these secrets? So maybe we should look for the misting garbage guy. I'm gonna go do that. Recite an affirmation. Don't I do this? But when you do this, I think it makes you like bored or something. I want to count it, so. Advance a friendship. We'll do that later. I'm already feeling pretty good. Yeah, it was a little warm today too, but I was I spent my entire time indoors, so not too bad. Of course, now my room's warm. My computer definitely generates a lot of heat because literally when I got home, my room was 73 degrees. It is now 78 degrees in here. Why, hello there. You must be lost. This is my house. Oh, hi. I'm your new neighbor. I'm sure I must... Wait. I'm sure I must be delighted to meet you. Now run along. Um, yes, I'll just be wandering around in your kitchen if you need me. Nah, we're gonna... We might as well just intimidate. Hey, thank you for the rose. Is this family crazy? Fuck it. Can we intimidate? We might need to work out some more. <laughs> Don't even know her. Just yelling at her. Wow. Wow, we got a secret out of her, right? That's so sad. I don't know who this person's name is. Secretly jealous of her husband's independence and distinction. Also, she hates his cooking. That's funny. Okay, well, let's go back. Let's apologize. Oh, what? Pay money? That was the only option. That kind of sucks. How much do I have to pay her? A hundred dollars. That's fucking wild. Sir. Oh, Cersei. Okay, Cersei. Got it. Sumo. That was easy. Fuck. Being so charismatic, you guys. What can I say? Oh, there's another thing. Guys, there's so many things I wanna, I wanna do. So many little video ideas now. Um, I think one of the orders I got from Lego came in, and it's um, it's a, it's a minifigure display. I'll show it to you guys in just a sec. Oh, okay. So I figured we could like slowly fill it. This one. Um, wait. Uh, shit. Okay. Oh, there we go. Uh, Kiera, yes, this is The Sims 2 for the PSP, though. Wow, we're really struggling with this one. We didn't get our secret. I swear, the socializing in this game. Fuck. What is this game? I don't know if we're going to get this one. Oh, we did it. They literally are crazy, though. It's wild. Every time she sneezes, she forgets what happened in the last five minutes. 
That would suck. That would literally suck. Wait, so what's the point of getting the secrets if I never use them? Does a, does a secret score matter? I probably should keep up with all the other ones, because I might forget about these people. This guy, I don't know if we're going to see him again. Oh, we never we never intimidated Bella. We gotta go back and intimidate these people. Oh, thank you. Kiera, yeah, Kiera. I just want to make sure I'm saying it right again now. <laughs> I, I try, I try, I try. Sometimes it can be hard with names. Whoop. There we go. Oh, motherfucker. It is warm in here, but let me get my little... Let me get the thingy that came in the mail. Hang on, my fucking cord is cording. Oh, I had a donut today, too, you guys. Ooh, can I reach it? I don't want to take my headphones off. Please, game. Oh, I've got a leg. I can use my foot. Come here. Eh. Ow. I don't stretch this way. Ow. <laughs> Hang on, I can do it. I can do it. I don't want to take my headphones off. I can do this. Come on. Motherfucker. Dude, why does that hurt my ass? I'm pulling muscles. I literally am knocking everything else over except for what I want to knock over. Come on. Perfect. Now I can reach it. There we go. That'll do. <laughs> okay. So this is what came in the mail. <laughs> and um, what I was thinking of doing, I kind of wanted to just record it. I was going to be like, check out what I got in the mail. And then what I'm gonna, we're going to do is slowly fill them up and you put in little minifigs. But these are all pictures of them, of course. Ones that I don't have. But that's okay. I'm not too worried about that. Um, but yeah, I was thinking there's a few displays that I would like. There's like four or three. Four of them that I have on the side that I'm going to put in here. And then I was counting. <laughs> Um, I was thinking I might put in some, like, childhood ones that I really liked, you know, that I remember. So that's what I'm thinking of, of doing so far. But I wanted to film it. I figured I would film getting this item and then filling it with the first four that I have. And then I'll do a follow-up video later, part of the cleaning video. So what I'll do is, because this is such a small thing, right? Taylor, thank you for the rose. And I'll, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Um, and what I'm going to do then is uh, once I start cleaning up my other Legos, because I have bags of Legos that I need to clean, once I clean those... And then they're ready to be stored. You know, I'll make another video with that. But I got a lot of work ahead of me. So anyways, this. It's exciting. Sure is. Wow. Easy. But I just wanted to update you guys. I'm excited because then um, now my minifigs that I put on display don't have to get a shitload of dust. That's one thing I'm also kind of like... I really want to try to work on. I'm putting all this effort into having no dust, and I need to make sure that I do a good job at maintaining that because dust gets really fucked. Like, it sucks. Dust is really annoying. It has a cheat thing? What's a cheat thing? Well, I mean, I don't want to do it, but like, what do you mean? Like, just cheats? Like, in the normal games? Like, same with like PC and all that? I mean, The Sims 2 console, the one that one I play also does cheats. And, um, you know, you get like a gnome at the at the front lawn and stuff, so. Okay, I mean, that makes sense that it have that. That's fair. I don't know if the DS version does. Oh, I almost fucked that up. Did we get it? We did it! Aw, Jasmine, welcome to the stream. Angel, good to see you too. Welcome back. I know literally no one matters. Nothing excites her more than volunteering for crazy science experiments. Hmm. Okay, now we have everything. I'm going to explore their house. Ooh, they have a really nice bed too. How about the bathroom? Ooh. 
So high detailed. For like a PSP game, what can I make? Ooh. Basically anything I can make anywhere else, but just because my skill is relatively high. Do they have a good TV? Just a fucking fireplace? Jeez. Oh, this looks familiar. Literally looks like the bookshelf. And like there's so many like all this stuff is like the same. Oh, I can't light a fire. That's kind of lame. You know, they definitely have this down, the whole running in place. They got that down. They nailed that. The only thing I'm going to bitch about is um interacting with objects isn't nearly as good as like all the other sim games like Sims 2 console. That game is perfect. You just run up and the I the object highlights and glows. But in this game it's just weird. It feels it feels like it's hard to kind of actually properly interact with stuff. Oh, for sure, Ham Slam. I'm using um PPSSPP. I imagine my hygiene's full. Oh, it sure wasn't. Yeah, I wish I could also see my needs in real time. But okay. Time to go back in. <laughs> I imagine the shower's good, right? Is it not going to go any higher? Aww. Hey, bro. Welcome back. Are you followed? I'm usually on pretty. I'm pretty. I'm on pretty often still. So yeah, make sure you follow so you stay notified. Oh, for sure, Jose. Yeah, this would be. This one would be good. I mean, it's okay. So far, it's okay. This one's alright. I think the, the one I would really want to see. I mean, the, obviously, out of all of them, Sims Three, but Sims Two console is really iconic too. <laughs> I'm not too sure, Angel. I'm not sure. I do. This is not going any higher. I think it's the best a shower could do. That's really annoying. All right, let's have a look at this. What is this? What is this? Why would I? Oh! Don't touch that! What? You mean this keypad? Reach out to touch it again. <laughs> Let's do it. Touch it again and I'll be... I'll be... Wait, what? I'll be within my rights to set you on fire. Oh my gosh, what's the big deal? My husband Loki is a scientist. His most sensitive experiments are beyond that door. What's so sensitive about a bunch of experiments? The environment inside must be tightly controlled, or all kinds of terrible things could happen. Terrible things? Like me finding out what's really going on inside? I already told you what goes on, and frankly, it's none of your business. So what if I were a um, close friend of a family or something? I'd tell you the same thing. I don't want you to see any... Wait. I don't want to see you anywhere near that door. You don't want to see me? <gasps> That's right. I don't want to see you. Are you having trouble understanding me? No, I understand you completely. You don't want to see me touch the keypad. I'll be quite satisfied if I never see you again. Alright. Here's the plan. So the goal is to make sure she doesn't see us. I need logic skill of two. Shit. Just catching up here. Let's see. Let's see, Jose. Okay, let's see. This one's all about story, huh? How do I do logic again? Do I need to buy a chess table? So we never talked to dude. Oh, he's got a little thingy too above his head. Their house is kind of weird. What do I need to do? I could eat. I could sleep. Actually, don't I have something in my inventory? I sure do. I got a random uh, uncooked hamburger in my back pocket. Oh, right. This game is so fucking weird. I swear. I mean, it helped with hunger. Now we gotta watch TV. Which, they don't have one. It's fine. But they do have a nice bed. 
We miss our mans. Our little mechanic guy. Oh, they have a bookshelf. Okay, cool. I, I completely forgot about that. That's like simming 101. What is that thing? Oh, I was going to say, what is that over there? I see a, I see a secret. Okay, this bed was pretty fucking awesome. What is he doing? What is he doing? Look at him. Fucking weirdo. What the fuck was that? Give me this. Apparently money does grow on trees, but the trees all waste it on wait what? But the trees all waste it on junk food and hats. Okay, okay. Book time, book time. Boring, you need to do something fun first. Reading is fun. <clears throat> well, maybe. I guess it depends on the person. Yep, it's fun. <laughs> Actually, this is really nice. Is this as high as it goes? The needs are weird. I'm just not used to how the need system works. I'm just used to things. I'm used to using objects and watching it slowly go up. It doesn't seem to necessarily do that here because there's a point to where when I keep eating the same mac and cheese like three times in a row, it doesn't fill the hunger bar. It seems like maybe certain foods can only fill it so far, I guess. It's, it's just weird. This is, the game is definitely, it's different. It's, it's weird. It's not your traditional Sims and it definitely kind of makes you feel, eh. It's, it's not bad though. Oh yeah, this fucking thing. What a cheap out way of raising skills. Spamming the key. It's like fucking herbs. A very, um, I would say, uninteresting way of doing it. Um, J Baby, this is The Sims 2 uh, PSP. Hell yeah. So good at the game. These people are so weird. Look at them. Yeah, look at our... Okay, so that's going up. Ah, I see. So it's still... Every, as long as it keeps showing the plus above our head. Well, now it isn't, right? Is that as high as it's going to go? Okay. I see now. Was it? Yeah, button mashing is just like... It, I feel like it can work. I feel like button smashing can work. Like, I feel like it's fine in some certain areas in games. But, like, especially with this, like, I don't know. <clears throat> I, w I would be fine with just sitting here watching it go up, even. I would rather that than button smashing. Like, this is lame. I don't know. You know what actually would be better? If they had it to where, as the book, as you're reading the book, maybe they just change the angle of the camera. <clears throat> and maybe it's like... Maybe it kind of zooms in a little bit, and maybe like letter, maybe the um, icons, like the X square and the circle, are coming out of the book, and then there's a circle in the center of the screen, right? Almost like I'm sure we can visualize a game that does. I don't know what the, what it's called, but almost like DDR, how you have to match. Once the arrows get into the thing, you press the arrows, right? So maybe as the, the keys are going up, you have to press them, and each time you press them the right way, you know, then it gives you better, more points. I think that would be more interesting than just button smashing. So it's like. You know, you see a circle and a square and a triangle slowly coming up, and when it gets into your, like, little circle, then you press it. You know, you press the key. I think, I feel like that would be better. Like, that would be better than what they have in place here. And even, even that suggestion is actually pretty basic, I would say. I would say it's not that crazy of an idea, but I do think that would make it more interesting. <laughs> That's fair, Angel, yeah. Dexter, huh? There we go, look at that. My game design is improving. All from Minecraft. Well, Minecraft definitely helps. Okay, so I think my... I'm sure I have enough here. What do I do now? Should I do it again? Fred, thank you for the paper crane. Let me see, will she see me do it again? Ah, oh, motherfucker. Didn't we already tell you not to open this door? Okay, was that you guys? I got so confused. All right. So what do I do now? Do I just like... 
Anna's character. Thank you for the roses, Red. Yes, what is it? Quick, there's a scale on blue sweaters at the blue... What? There's a sale on blue sweaters at the blue sweater store. Go get some before they're gone. Oh, no. Gophers in your yard. So many gophers. Get the gopher repellent. Holy cow, there's a whole world of things outside your house for you to see. Go see them. She's wearing blue sweaters. Um... I'm going to go with this one. You're very cute, but I know perfectly well that you're trying to get rid of me. Was I that obvious? Do you have to ask? Well, then, what can I do to make you leave? You seem to think that I'm going to help you trick me into leaving my own home. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing you can do for me, though. Oh, I get to do you a favor. Please go on. I can detect sarcasm, you know. I'm not asking for a favor. I'm suggesting a deal. I'm listening. I suspect that Loki has been keeping things from me. What kinds of things? He spends so much time in that lab of his. I think he has secured some secret patents. Patents. Yes, deals with the government that will let him net him millions of simoleons. Simoleons that he will not share with me. So you want me to find these patents? Yes. They'll be somewhere that Loki spends a lot of time. Probably somewhere in the house. He's obsessive, and he'd want to check on them constantly. So if I find these patents, you'll leave the house. If you find them, I'll take them and leave Loki. How very evil of you. I'll do it. <laughs> Fuck it. I'll do it. Alright, so where does he live? Like, go. I imagine he spends... Oh, well, he does spend time in here. This would be it. I just remember him, like, sitting in here and just kind of being weird. <gasps> you think so? You think so, Chi-Chi? Che that would be fun. I actually, there is a story I AI generated. And so here's the thing. I'm going to actually pull this up really quick. So do you guys want me to tell you a story? Do you guys all want to hear a story? I'm going to have to sign in. But there is, so I'm, I have a Minecraft server that's in development. <clears throat> Damn it, I have to log in. Motherfucker, I'm going to remember my password too. Isn't it this one? I don't remember my password. Okay, that's not the password. Fuck yeah, I remember my password. Yeah, you guys want me to tell you a story? Hi, Sav! Oh, <gasps> no, Sav. Well, it's okay. Don't feel bad, Sav. I've been on for only 32 minutes. <laughs> hey, Marky Moo, how are you? But yeah, if you guys want to hear a story, um, it's called The Story of the Spicy Spooky Tree. Um, this was generated by uh, AI. And um, so on my Minecraft server, I am there is a, a game called Bookkeeper. And part of the feature is... Oh shit! I gotta find it. I ask ChatGPT so much shit. Um, and so part of the servers, I part of the part of the features is every time you play the game, there um, we have a uh, we have a set of words that we put in there, and it randomly generates them. <coughs> Sorry, breathing a little bit of my saliva. <coughs> so <coughs> one of the random book names was um, called uh, the Spicy Spooky Tree. <coughs> Here it is. Here it is. It's a really cute story. <clears throat> That's actually, this isn't it. <clears throat> Here it is. I got it. I got it. You guys ready? Fucking story time, you guys. Story time. All right. All right. Gather around, everybody. We have story time. <clears throat> Trying not to die. I'm doing well, Marky Moo. Doing well. And Chi Chi, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the community. All right, guys. So... Once upon a time, in a dense forest, there stood a spicy, spooky tree. It was said that the tree was cursed by an old witch who had lived in the forest centuries ago. The tree was covered in bright red leaves that were as hot as chili peppers, and the bark was rough and twisted like the fingers of a witch. One day, a little rabbit named Coco was hopping through the forest, and she came across the spicy, spooky tree. She was curious and decided to climb it. But as soon as she touched the bark, she felt a sharp, burning sensation on her paws. The tree was indeed spicy, but Coco was brave, and she continued to climb. As she got closer to the top, she noticed something strange. The tree was starting to sway, and the branches began to form into shapes of ghosts and goblins. Coco was scared, but continued to climb, and as she reached the top, she saw a beautiful sight. 
The view from the top of the spicy spooky tree was breathtaking, and she could see the entire forest from up there. Suddenly, she heard a a cackling sound, uh, and she looked down to see the old witch who had cursed the tree all those years ago. The witch was surprised to see Coco on top of the tree, and she asked her how she managed to climb it. Coco explained that she was brave and that the tree's spiciness didn't stop her. The old witch was impressed by Coco's bravery, and she lifted the curse from the spicy spooky tree. The tree's leaves turned into a vibrant green color, and the bark became smooth and polished. From that day on, the spicy spooky tree was no longer spooky, but it was still spicy. (laughs) Coco became friends with the tree, and every year she would come back to climb it and enjoy the breathtaking view. The spicy spooky tree had become a popular spot for all the animals in the forest, and they would come to play and have picnics under its shade. And so the spicy spooky tree lived happily ever after. <clears throat> there you are, everybody. That is the story of the spicy spooky tree. In that book, you can even you can even buy it on Minecraft. Buy as an in game for free. Okay, Loki has secret patents for an electric vomit recycler. Ew. And fuzzy carrying case. Sounds delicious. M- m- ma- wait, my major? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. And welcome to the community. Hi, Gilly. Good to see your face. Aw, well, welcome to the community. Yeah, I love that story. It's so fucking adorable. It's so cute. I can, like, literally imagine how it should look in my, like, in my brain. I've got some images, but I'm not that good at art, so I wouldn't be able to really... I could do it to some extent, but it wouldn't be exactly how I'm imagining it. Um... I was trying to get like a short, this, yeah, the short thing of it is a positive message is uh, it's about bravery, kindness, and understanding can transform what seems daunting and intimidating into something beautiful and welcoming. So it's a cute little story. <clears throat> I love it. Hi, Rachel. Welcome back. How's your face? Hmm? Mm, new goal. I didn't even interact with him. I just like, I'm doing this all for her. Fuck it. Quietly. I, I really hope you've got what I'm, I'm looking for. Oh, she's not saying quietly. That's just like, in parentheses, like, I really hope you've got what I'm looking for. Are these the patents you asked for? It didn't say I said it quietly. The very ones, give them to me. Hmm. I think I'll hold on to them for a while. Should I talk to him? Let me talk to dude. What is it now? Can't you see I'm terribly busy? Oh. There's a thing going on outside of this room. Go investigate and be distracted. Aliens are... Why am I trying to distract him? Oh, dear. You didn't actually think I'd fall for that, did you? It was worth a shot. Well, as it happens, Cersei and I are perfectly happy to spend all day, every day, in this room. There's nothing I could do to make you leave. As long as Cersei and I are still together, we will both be right here watching you. As long as you're together. Is there some doubt about that? Well, to be absolutely honest, I get the sense that there's some that she's been hiding something from me. Interesting. Like what? I don't rightly know, but she's not as open and affectionate as she... Well, why am I telling you this? Or our marriage problems are none of your business. You brought it up. Well, the subject is now closed. Fine. Can I, can I work with him, maybe? Let me, uh... Let me intimidate your ass. Slap him around a little bit. <laughs> I actually didn't mean for that time as perfectly as it did. That works. Point at him. Yeah, yeah. Stick it to him. Fuck. Uh oh, he pushed back. Gotta be stern with him. Fuck. It would have worked if I didn't mess that up. <clears throat> oh my gosh, Angel, I feel that. What are you making for dinners? What's going to be your yummies? I had Thai food and it was so fucking good. At the daycare factory. Oh my F. I like the slap. Frozen pizza is pretty solid. What flavor? I haven't had frozen pizza in a fat minute, actually. Oh my gosh. We got him. It's so sad making people cry. Met his wife by lurking in an online chat room devoted to lurking in online chat rooms. I mean, okay. Fair. 
I have to pay him $100 for this? That's fine. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to salvage the friendship. We're going to make a new friendship with him. Meat lovers. That's yummy. I'm really fucking basic. I just like cheese. But I will admit... Oh, my gosh. Do they still sell these? Sam's Choice Pizzas? Oh, they're at Walmart. Oh, mm, my gosh. They're so fucking good. They're Sam's Choice. And they have a buffalo chicken, which is so good. Sam's... Fuck off. Sam's Choice. Pizza. Please tell me they still sell these. It's been a minute. I haven't ordered one of these in a while. Oh my gosh, the packaging changed. Um. Yes, so I'd get Stam... Yep, the Chicken Bacon Ranch. That shit's good. Uh, what else is there? Do they have it? Cheese, of course, is amazing. I don't remember if they did a stuffed crust. Damn, their lineup is a little bit smaller now. They used to have a stuffed crust. They still sell these, it looks like. What the fuck? $7? Are they like, are they out of their damn minds, dude? For seven dollars, I could go buy a fucking medium pizza from Domino's for six ninety nine. Why would I pay seven ninety seven six seven sixty six? Why would I pay seven sixty six, you guys, to then take a frozen pizza, bring it home, spend time preheating an oven, dirty a fucking pan, and then bake that bad boy for another twenty minutes? You get to spend twenty minutes preheating, twenty minutes cooking it. And then you got to clean up after yourself. Fuck that. I'd rather just go spend $7 and have it already made for me and go pick it up my damn self. Like, screw that. That's kind of how I see it. I just go to Domino's. I'm okay with that. You know, Domino's is it. Domino's pizza. Okay, literally, guys, frozen pizzas are kind of, um, they need to get off their high horses. They're, we're, we're doing all the work. You never preheat the oven? You just earned 10,000 sanity points. I'm really not spending these. What are you waiting for? The end of the world? Select buy perks from my Sims. Wait, from the My Sims screen to spend them on special abilities. I want to play My Sims. <laughs> Never played it. Um, all right then. Well, I didn't really. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just racking up points. <laughs> Shit. $16? Holy cock, dude. Yeah, not worth it. That's crazy. Do you ever go online, Rachel? I know they usually have online deals. That's when I get That's how I do it. But obviously, depending on where you live, um, you know, the prices can be vastly different. So, in my case, I can get a, a medium pizza for... And it's the one I like. Like, um... Okay, we'll do that. Um, it's the one I like, because I'm, I'm basic. I like cheese, and then I replace the marinara with more cheese. So, and that makes me happy. And it's a deep dish, too, and that's like, you know, $6.99. So, Little Caesars works. Yeah, that works, too, if you want to go with them. I just feel like generally, I don't know. I do like those frozen pizzas, but $7, I mean, it's not too bad. It's not as bad as DiGiorno, I guess. How much is a DiGiorno now? How do you even spell that word? A D-I, right? And then is it G? D-I is DiGiorno. There it is. I was getting it. How much are those bad boys, huh? What do they run? I probably shouldn't trust Target uh, Walmart online because they always have, like, uh, other people selling their bullshit on there, like third parties. So sometimes the prices are, like, overly inflated. So, okay, this isn't bad. If you like thin crust pizza, three ninety nine. They're currently on sale at Target. And, and once again, this this is per location. Everyone's area is different. So they're on sale. They're 30% off. That's actually pretty fucking broken. That's actually broken. $4? That's not bad. What if I want something thick? What if I want a nice stuffed crust pizza? Like, what if I, what if I want my shit thick and stuffed? <laughs> Ooh, then I'm going to have to pay eight ninety nine. That's actually not that bad. Though I am just bitching about 7 seven whatever for Sam's Choice. Oh, is that stuffed crust, too? Oh, shit, that's stuffed crust. Okay, maybe that's actually not that bad. Maybe that's not too bad. Maybe I was kind of going a little bit too hard on this pizza, you know? Maybe I was really just letting them have it. I was kind of ripping them a new one. And you know, honestly, holy ingredients. Yeah, I kind of want one of these. I haven't had a Sam's Choice pizza in a fucking minute. I feel like that's okay. Maybe maybe that's not too bad. Maybe seven sixty six isn't too bad. But if I want like a nice top of the line DiGiorno, it looks like it's eight ninety nine. Of course, that's not thirty percent off. Why would it be? They would sell too well. 
They'll do 30% off on the other stuff. Ooh, but a classic crust and a cheese pizza is $3.99 too. That's not bad. I would try that. Half a pound of toppings. Mmm. Oh, a stuffed crust cheese pizza. Yeah, but Adorno, I don't know if I like their sauce that much, to be honest with you guys. I like the sauce on, yeah, I don't know. Their sauce is okay. Their cheese is, I think I like their cheese, but I don't care for their sauce. That's how I felt about them, you know? Oh, 7-Eleven pizza? We've literally talked about this too. So I actually didn't mind it. I've had a pepperoni one from them, but I've never had a um, a cheese pizza from them yet. Hot circles of garbage, as I've heard. Emmy, welcome back. And hi, Juno. Yeah, I want to try a cheese one. So, I don't care how bad it is, I want to give it a swig. I tried putting in requests, but they never ordered them. They must really don't sell well. Shit. You're talking about, ro you're saying robots and fish don't, they're not the same? Me trying terrible food so you guys don't have to. That'll be a new series. Loves to chew on... Apparently it's pronounced aluminium. Apparently. I always thought aluminum. But I think we're pronouncing it wrong, you guys. I'm being told at my job, there's people saying how like uh, we are pronouncing it wrong, and it's aluminium. Apparently it's aluminium. Would it be aluminium foil? Is that how you'd say it? Is it aluminium or... Aluminum. Wow, aluminum is used everywhere else, but English in North America is aluminum. Oh my gosh, are we dumb? Are we dumb? No, because like, don't we also use like, what is it called? There's metric system versus imperial. So doesn't everyone else use, everyone else uses imperial, right? No, we, wait. What do we use? I don't even know what we use. Most countries use the metric system. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. What do we use? So we use Imperial? Is that right? <laughs> yeah, we're trendy, right? Is that what it is, right? <laughs> huh. Funny. Aluminium. So you d is that how you would say it then, Holly? Would you say aluminium foil? That's what you would say? Or how do you guys say it? Because I guess this game is English. Like our kind of English, so I guess we would say aluminum foil. What would you that you'd really say that aluminum foil? It's so weird, you know. It's so weird. I don't. I don't know. We sure do use Fahrenheit. Absolutely. I have that little TV is my little Chromecast, so I actually have it do for Fahrenheit and Celsius. This way, I could try to learn both. Um, I still don't know how to use it, but I just know I just always read Fahrenheit. It is sixteen degrees Celsius outside. So if you ask me, it's a little bit toasty. Well, it's actually not that bad. 60s isn't too bad, actually, but it's still warm. Warmer than I want it to be, you know? Tin foil, that's fair. Wow. We're getting it. It's the stash. The stash is leading us in. Whoops, did not mean to do that. Flirt. My, my, yama. Oh, Taylor. Oh, damn. Thank you so much for subscribing. Oh, thank you. <gasps> Congrats on being a ride. You know what? Last night I tried linking Discord with my TikTok again. So hopefully you should, your name, you should get assigned a role in the Discord. Um, if not, of course, I, I still need to work on that. That is a major issue, by the way. Trying to keep track of the subscribers on there. This way, when we do subscriber events, because I would like to start doing that. It's something I've been talking about, so I do want to do that. Um, but yes, yes, thank you. Thank you so much, Taylor. It's very sweet of you. Thank you for the subbies. Enjoy the ride tag and the emotes. Okay. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully it updates in the Discord. I actually need to check that. That's one thing I didn't check today, amongst all the other things. <laughs> China, China. I don't care for this. I really don't care for the simlish in this game. This one is really weird. This one's very, very strange. This spin off of Sims is just such a different one. I mean, I'm here for it. 
How long is the game, actually? Jose, are you still there? Are you lurking? Are you lurking? Where are you? Oh, he's serenading. Oh, me, oh, my. Yolo. 20%? Okay. I know I've been dicking around. And actually, I haven't gone anywhere. Oh, there's a couple of locations I need to go to. That thick, wavy... Oh, that thick, wavy hair is really just a high-tech evil genius toupee. Oh, okay. That's fine with my hair. Welp. Well, 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 here we go. Oh my gosh, they have a radio. I did not mean to do that. I thought I was greeting the radio station. Are you gonna, are you gonna turn that on or what? There you go. <gasps> this is a taste of fall. Ooh, let's go to pop. What does techno sound like? I just like the music. Sure. It sounds kind of mysterious. Here you go! Ha ha! He'll have to share the money now. I'm gonna be so rich. So now you'll leave Loki? Leave him? I can't leave him. The patents are in his name. But you said. You're joking, right? So you had no intention of leaving. Of course not. But here's a little money for your trouble. Oh. Accept it and feel used. I'm not gonna say keep it, you lying liar. Fuck that. I'm gonna take advantage. Take full advantage. I'm not even gonna feel used. I'm taking that fucking money. 250? Sure. Well, run along now, and I wish you luck in your little quest. What am I supposed to do now? I don't much care. Wait, I don't much care. Talk to Loki if you're bored. Ah, you motherfucker. Where? Okay. I am gonna talk to you, actually. Stop bothering me. But we're friends. Yeah. Does that mean I want to be bothered? I'd say not. Fine. Hang on, I'm bothering you anyway. <laughs> Stop bothering me. Found anything out about your wife yet? My wife is none of your business. Though if you hear anything, I expect you to tell me immediately. You can be sure that I will. But I have I do have stuff. What else can I discover about her? We we gave her the patents. Which is weird, but what else could we discover on her? Can we dig up more dirt? Excusees. What other what other things could we figure out? I can't hack it. Could salvage. Got any yummies for me in here? Hmm? Ooh, what I gain. Ooh, some trash. All right. They got some yummies. I love this song. I'm a little smelly. But taking a whole ass shower, like getting getting undressed and taking a shower is a lot of work. So I'm just going to wash my hands and call it even. I assure you, I do not use that as IRL. To, like, you know, that's not IRL advice. <laughs> Um, Kara, this is The Sims 2 PSP. <sighs> These motherfuckers. I know there's a trash man missing, and I know it's in here. My tech... What is my... This fucking game. I wish I could hear that good... Wait. Rescue Gimme Branco. Hack the keypad next to the beaker's locked door. Oh, I have to intimidate her. I already did that though. Oh, but now I need to do it. Oh, hack the keypad. I thought I was smelling food on my hand. That's why I had to get. <laughs> I had to get go for a second whiff. Oh fuck yeah! This song gets me going. One of them at least does. This one's a good one. Oh, All right, time to slap her around a bit. Asking me discreetly. That's like the English. English version. Honestly, out of all the aggressive um, animations, that's one of the ones I like. Shit. Did not mean to do that. Sorry. 
was not supposed to slap her there. Yeah, yes, I have that. That's what I remember too. Cersei has been sneaking off with Dr. Dominic Nulo. <gasps> well, I never. All right, I'll tell you my secret, but you cannot tell Loki or I will never forgive you. Of course not. I've been sneaking around with Dominic Nulo behind my husband's back. Hey, it happens. Not to me. It's the one thing I always prided myself on. I might do horrible things to other people, but I would never betray my husband. Nah, because fuck everybody else, right? Well, looks like that's not quite true anymore. Well, I was with Dominic. I was a different person. Oh, when I was with Dominic. I got gotcha, you, I got gotcha. you. It's like I suddenly turned into an obedient little worker ant. Hmm, don't dodge responsibility for this. You did a horrible thing. I feel like that all the time, actually. Okay. Really? You understand? It's like you're being controlled by some outside force. Yeah, feels that way sometimes. I'm not sure why. Well then, at least I'm not alone. Thanks. No problem. Alright, time to go tell her secrets. Fuck off. I took your money and I'm telling your secrets. Yeah, that's right. That's what she gets. She's being a little shit. Not him walking in the wall like this. I love that. This game is goofy as fuck. We're spilling the beans. I found something out about Cersei. Alright, fine, but this had better be important. She's having an affair with Dr. Nulo. I knew it! I guessed it ages ago, but I ne I needed... Whoa, wait. Corroboration. Cor cor that's a word. That's a new word! Hmm. Corroboration? Corroboration? Is it corroboration? No, corroboration? Maybe I'm getting it. Hi, Rachel, welcome back. What are you going to do now? Move out? Move out? Ha, this is my house. If anyone is moving out, it's her. Oh, I mean, he's, she's also got your patents, so... <laughs> Go get her. Good luck with that one, because she's got the patents. Now, can I hack this? Let me see. Try to stop me. Ha! Where is he? Ooh, there's pipes. Can I play on this? Oh, it looks like a missing person, but hang on. I kind of want to play on this computer if I can. Think it plays SimCity? Oh, I can play! I can finally play! I like how the screen isn't on. That's my favorite feature. Is it making my entertainment go up? Sure is. I need to get one of these in my house. It's great. I can research. Oh my fucking gosh, this game. Circle. Oh, this, this game is actually shit. I'm telling you, it's actually garbage. Logic point. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Hacking? Yes, so what it did was it unlocked the door. That's That was it. Oh, we got a headache. Okay. I better go take something for my headache. I'll come back for him. So how do I fix a headache again? Sleep. I think sleep will do it. I know it does it for me in IRL. You don't mind if I use your bed, right? <laughs> do you see her just walking into the wall like a dummy? Much better. I like how that fixes it. That's so I that's so real. I need to log am I logged into my TikTok on my computer? There's a new song I want to show you guys by a band. And I might actually ask them if I Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm so signed in. Sweet. I'm gonna ask them and see if I could feature their a song in one of my detail videos. So guys, where is it? Their music isn't bad so far. The first song that I heard. Where is it? No, wait, where is it? Oh, actually, I'll let you guys just hear this. You guys want to hear the video? Let me, let me make sure my music is stopped. Let me turn this off. 
Oh, also, Kara, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the community. Um, I felt like this gave me some Owl City vibes, just so you guys know, but that's just me. So here, here's the song. You remind me of a sunset. Love to watch you undress. Feeling like I never felt before. You remind me of a sunrise. Beautiful like sunshine. Yes. Ooh, a secret. Not bad. Not bad. That was 16 seconds of the song. It's called... What's it called? Shit, what's it called? It's called Sunset. So, and yes, I can purchase it on iTunes. But it's not bad. Um, the If you guys want to find out who it is, the person's channel is... Or, well, TikTok page is called Runner the Writer. All one word. And, um, yeah. They did one of those videos where it says, congratulations, you found an artist small enough to reply to every single comment. Save this post on proof that you're an OG supporter. So one of those kinds of posts. But yeah, not bad. Not bad. I thought it was kind of a cute song. Aliens built every architectural wonder on Earth, culminating in the perfection of Burlington, Vermont. Okay. I guess I should interact with them, but are there any other things I can yoink from here? Ew. Is this seriously where they're keeping him? This is fucking awful. Eh. Hey, thanks for rescuing me. It was good of what? It was good of ya. Oh, I got you. I got you. Hey, you wouldn't kind of have any kind of reward for me, would you? Reward? Is that what is this about? Well, here. Give me that reward. Yeah, I don't know what I got. Was that in your pocket this whole time? Oh, never mind. What was it? What did he give me? He gave me garlic? That wasn't worth it. Can I apologize to him? That's not all it was about. I'm gonna block him. In. Wait. Yeah, what are you gonna do now? What are you gonna do now? Why are there no sounds for the walking? <laughs> Wait, where's he going? Oh, what if I block the front door? Sir, you can't leave. Can't leave. I'm getting a, a, a flavor of that tea, you guys. It was so good. That tea was so fucking good. Am I done here? Yep. Oh my gosh, I see how the goals work now. Oh shit. Talk to Emily Emery. Bury the swimsuit in Hazel's garden. Oh my gosh, I was supposed to bury it. Who the fuck's Emily? Who's Emily? I don't even remember who that is. I know, that was actually pretty terrible for me to do. I did take his garlic, though. Is this Emily? I really wish I knew who Emily was. I want to listen to that song on iTunes now. Hang on. It just sucks, because when they're smaller artists, it's much harder for me to, like, look it up on iTunes. You know? That's like that. It's like the... It's bittersweet, you know? Because it's nice discovering new artists that aren't just these, like, you know, all the big artists. But it's... At the same time, makes it hard. Okay, game. Seriously? Hang on, I, I want to hear the full song. Sunrise, I think is what it's called. Let me see, are they on YouTube? Yes, looks like he is. Is this it? Okay, who is Emily? That's not it. Oh god, it's already really cute. This song is already, like, super cute. She's the maid! Thank you. Hi, Glazed! Love your name. I should get a glazed donut now. But I had a donut today. Ooh, I like it. It's a good song. It makes me think of food. I can't help it, Glazed. Hello, sir. I hope you're having a pleasant day. Well, with all... Wait. Oh, where did... Yeah, okay, I'm just doing hello. So what can I do for you? Dennis's suit is good and buried. Yeah. Really? Oh, that's wonderful news. Did you hear that, Dennis? He listens to you. Dennis, you're free. Go into the light. Is he gone? He's gone. The music room is all yours. Go check it out. 
Mm, what about the master bedroom? Come see me later and we'll talk about it. All right, whatever you say. Wait, I want to become friends with her. Oh, I can't yet. So, how do I get into the master bedroom without getting attacked? Don't you love your new music room? It's great, but I'm really concerned about the bedroom. Oh, all right. It's just the ghost in the master bedroom is so depressed sometimes. I don't like talking to him. I can't imagine why a dead guy trapped in a bedroom would be depressed. <laughs> Me neither. I mean, that bed is so comfy. Anyway, he's probably depressed because he misses his girlfriend. He used to date Annie Howell, the waitress at the Night Owl. The what owl? The what owl? No, the Night Owl, the saloon in Dead Tree. Oh, okay. On the corner next to the dairy. Annie and our friend here used to be so close. You could hardly find one without the other. What happened? Well, our friend here was always short on money, so he signed up to be a test subject in Loki Beaker's experiments on the nervous system. That sounds painful. You don't know the half of it. Loki kept his nervous system, or subject, wait, nervous subject so miserable that one day, and one of these those machines just shocked him to death. Um, that happened because he was miserable? Yes, most of the time, most of the really high-tech machines you see in Strangetown will only work right if you're in a good mood. That's like the Sims 2 PC, so. Are you Emmy? It's good, right? Yeah, it's called, um, so it's, it's called Sunset by Runner the Writer. Just to give everyone, you know, just to give them proper credit. But that is a, that is a good song. I am going to message him. I'm going to be like, hey, would you mind if I just added this song and it gave you the, because I, you know, I put a little credit, this, this so do the credit stuff in the video. See if you wouldn't mind. Anyways, yes, most of the really high... T oh, yeah, we already read that. What if I'm in a bad mood when I use them? Then you'll probably die some horrid death, and I am not cleaning up that mess. Okay, so what can I do to help this nervous subject guy? He used to wear a little charm around his neck that Annie gave him. When he disappeared, Annie thought he had run off with another woman. So all you need to do is find his grave, dig up the charm, and give it to Annie to prove that he died still in love with her. Where is the grave? There are a couple of graveyards scattered around Strangetown. Look for a headstone with no name on it. All right, deal. I'll come back when it's done. Well, maybe the hint is over by Dead Tree. Let's go check a look. Yeah, it would be cool, Red. I was starting to think about that. I was like, you know, with all with the way I do the videos, because I got the permission from Simsy45. He's the one who's making the um, all those remix videos that will play on here. And that's always fun. So I usually always feature his music. And I did feature, you know, I had Seconds Away on there once. So I was able to do, you know, had them in one of the songs in one of the videos. So that was fun. But I started thinking, like, you know, actually, I like a lot of that kind of music, you know, pop punk. And that's kind of, they said they, because a lot of their videos, they were saying, like, if you like, let me see, I got to pull it up. Because they have it in their videos. I can tell you guys. Um, they said, day one of posting until the all-time low Fallout Boy and We The Kings fans find my music. And that's the thing. I love that kind of stuff. You know? I have like I have like an inner emo in me, but I'm not really emo. But at the same time I just I always loved the look of it. You know, and I like the vibe of it all. I don't know, you know? <laughs> So, but yeah, anyway, I, so I, I do seem to get recommended to a lot of these like smaller artists on TikTok occasionally. So I don't know, maybe it could be something I could do. Feature the music in, in Sims. All right, um, oh, there you go. My controller disconnected. That's great. So dead tree, how do I get there? Oh, I guess we just teleport. Ooh, it's spooky over here, guy. A little spooky. Mmm, trash. Give that to me. That's $5. That raised my mood. Change appearance, earn a cooking skill point, apologize. Earn some money. Are you selling something? Maybe I can slap him around a little bit to apologize. Oh, do I know him? Why am I apologizing to him? Thank you, Zaders. Welcome back. Do you really enjoy? You've never been here. This is a first. Well, didn't mean to do that. Fuck me. Recite information? What is going on? What the fuck is that? What the fuck? How do I avoid that? Where's the graveyard? Where's the gravestone, dude? Where's the graveyard, actually? Oh, hey, a secret. Give me that. It's okay, Angel. I believe in you. Aliens don't have huge black eyes. They just wear ultra-cool alien sunglasses. But it's a lot cuter. Yeah, because aliens, alien eyes are scary. They're scary. Spook me. Is this the graveyard? Nope, that's a barn. 
Mmm, trash. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Just like in the video, when there's all that dust. I'm like, mmm, yummy. I do love me some dust. Gotta say, I'm a fan. My room is extra dusty. Can I buy anything? Can I buy your wares? I sure can. What do you got for me, huh? What are you selling? You remind me of a sunset. Motherfucker. Yes, give me your money. Ooh, she's selling stuff. Hmm. What could I buy? Holy cock, dude. $1,600 for a diamond ring. Oh, but she's got uncooked burritos and uncooked... Whoopsies. Chili. Ooh. Game, can you fuck off? Thank you. Hunger 6? Ah, that's how this game works. But the burrito is a hunger 8. <laughs> Naturally. Give me this. Roses. Give this summoner. Nah. Ah, I think that's all I really care about. Might come back for your chili. We'll see. I have not seen it, Zaders. I am not ready, dude. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get like spooked again. I know it. More trash. It's five dollars, you guys. Remember, each piece of trash is five dollars. Is this it? What is this meeting house? This old meeting house hasn't been open in years. So okay, let me in. I'll break in. Is there no graveyard around here? What can I do to get a graveyard around here? Hmm. How about these rundown homes? Can I break and enter? Anything? Oh, here we go. Old library. Library is closed. Apparently, reading is a lost art in Dead Tree. Well, wow. Honestly, Sav, I don't blame you for disliking this area. Werewolves. Everything's closed. Can I go inside of this? Oh, okay. Yeah, this is that saloon place. Anyhow. Oh, good. Okay. Susu. Who's this? Mm, she seems very suspicious. I'm not trusting this. Huh. What the fuck? Why is she a weirdo? Hi, Noontown. Yeah, she's a weirdo. Okay. What is going on? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's literally the same animations from The Sims 3. Wow, they really recycled a lot. And The Sims 3 is still broken. How did they? How did Sims 3 end up so broken when they reused so many things? From objects, animations? Like, how do you, how do you still, still manage to make that game as broken as it was? And really, as it is, you know? It's so broken. Oof. Hold on. Whoops. Close all that down. I like the ambience in this game, though. Um, maybe the graveyard isn't in here. Oh, excuse me. So I'm just going to check for... Oh, secrets! The key to instant romantic success? Lower your standards. <laughs> that definitely can apply to some, for sure. Definitely can apply to some. What is this? A jukebox? Can I use it? The answer is yes. I don't like country. Let's do rock. But this is a good song. I already like it. It already goes hard. Oof. Let me use this. I want to play on the. I want to play on it. Scary Mary, hi, welcome back. Can you skewsies, please? Fucker. Okay, I'm gonna go back out here. There's, there's gotta be another way in. No, hang on. Wait, what's this? The 
dairy is definitely closed for renovation. Come back later. Oh, I can craft! Oh, no, I can't. And it costs money. Oh, what's the point of this? Intimidate. Instantly gain some respect from your target. Oh my gosh, it's a taser. Matter converter, transform any trash from your inventory into simoleons. Eh, I'm probably not going to use that feature unless it forces me to. Who even is this? Do I know him? I think I want to go work on my charisma. Just wait until I get yelled at by another freaking werewolf. Oh, thank you, Alex. You're not a. That's okay if you don't like Sims. I mainly stream Sims. Um, but yeah, I don't know. What kind of games do you like to play? That's crazy, though, Zeta. It does seem. I mean, it's pretty old looking to me. But that's also because I, I play Sims all the time, so I'm, I, you know. Yeah, guys, I am lost. Maybe I should go somewhere else. Let's go to Division 47. Red, thank you for the year, amazing. Uh, well, this is a waste of travel time. I can't get in. Hey, we've seen him before. That's like the guy. That's the dude. Red, thank you so much for the gifties. Appreciate your face. How the fuck do I get in? That's it? You bastards. What are the missions? Ah, that's part of the problem. Talk to Emily. Track down this Dr. Nulo. Me, I, that's the problem. I think I'm going. I think I'm jumping too hard, too too high, too far, motherfucker. Also, this. Invite your first roommate. Oh, I might be able to do that now. Now the ghost is gone. All right, let's do this. I did not mean to go to Dead Tree. That was stupid. Game is so laggy right now. Hi, Alexis. How are you? And Alex, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the community. Yeah, let me go back here. Oh, I'm so tired. Oh, I wish there was no ghost haunting my bedroom. Oh, no, he's going to take advantage. Stop it. Huh. Oh, no. He's trying to get me. Guys, I don't trust it. I don't trust... See? He was trying to get me. The fucking walls are in the way. Stop it. Okay. I guess I'm using the guest bedroom. Even though this bedroom actually sucks. The bed is awful. Son of a bitch. I did relax. Um, oh, yeah, Alex. Uh, oh, you sports, JRPGs. Oh, yeah, I don't, I don't think I do any of those. <laughs> um, the headphones, no, they were actually, they were a gift, but these are the, so they're Razer. They're the Razer Kraken. Oh, no, what are they? They're Razer Krakens, but they're the Kitty Edition, is what they are. I wouldn't really recommend you buy them. I would say if they're going to be given to you for free, it's they're not bad. Um, but I wouldn't pay $150 for them, because there are some grapes that I have about them. I think I'm just... Unless, if you're someone that's not as hyper-focused on, like, audio things, then they're great. But for me, I notice very subtle audio things. Like, for example, they have a very... Set, like, there's like almost like a... So, you know... The best way I try to describe it is okay best way i can describe it i can con i can compare it to to a visual effect you know when you watch a video on youtube and it's like super low quality and grainy so you can visualize grain right when it's a low quality video so same thing with audio there's like almost like a graininess to the audio if you're ever listening to anything at a low enough volume you'll hear the music but you'll also hear grain like audio grain to it as well really fucking annoying and um, my actually my other Razer headphones that were fifty dollars didn't do that, so these ones do. And ironically, they're also partnered with the THX Audio, and yet it's actually worse. <laughs> so 
Um, that with software updates, they've made them better. Um, now the actual THX spatial audio actually works because the first like six months that I had these, um, not even six months, actually, that's not true because I got these in December. The first like four months that I've owned these, they like didn't work. Actually, yeah, it's like, it's actually maybe three months, but still, you get the idea. <laughs> but anyways. Mm, gotcha. Yeah, I never played Dead by Daylight. I got it for free, but then I just never used the code because I just didn't want to play the game because it's spooky. I don't like spooky games. I probably should do that, Jose. So true. That's okay. Fuck it. Oh my gosh, she's going to be so sweaty. We need to be more intimidating. Shit. We gained a point. That's all that matters. Now I'm platinum. I'm smelly and tired. Where's my bathroom? I guess I can just wash my hands. We don't need a shower. Just wash your hands. I mean, according to this game... Such a weird game. This game is so weird. The needs feel... They do kind of feel almost like an afterthought. I guess. They're strange. The, the need system I'm not a fan of. I don't like how it's not like traditional. I'd rather it have a traditional need system. The way they do it is just very... It's just odd, you know? Oh no, Alberta. Ooh, Angel, that sounds really yummy. Are you dipping them in anything? That's fair, though, Haley. That's fair. I know it's a really popular game. I probably should at least have tried it, especially since I was given it for fucking free. I was given it for free because um, I bought a graphics card in 2016, and it came with it. It was actually my 950, my GTX 950. I don't even know if I could find that code again. Maybe. Who knows? I don't even know if it would work. Let's see. So what's this one? Talk to Emily. Is Emily, you said, as our maid? Track down this Dr. Nulo. Meet Isaac. Isaac and Dr. Nulo? So we have to just run around our neighborhood? But there's just so many people. I don't like how I have to like actually talk to people. All right, who's this doctor guy? Susu Bilisi. Can I actually, like, get to know you, bitch? Delu, susu. I have to actually interact with him? Motherfucker. It doesn't work. I still don't know who this is. Who even is this? He's in a house. Thank you for the tip. Because so far, I don't like how I can't say... I don't like how you can't tell who these people are. Like, that's just a design feature, I would argue about. That's one thing. And I don't know. I was going to go with that. I was going to continue my bitch rant, but I don't know what else I was going to go with that. But that is a that is anno another annoying feature I don't like. Hi, Samantha. How are you? Oh, tro yeah, that sucks. I don't like I don't like the vibe of this house. Cute bathroom. Where's your shower? Oh, that room is hidden. Can I, like, get in there? I know this is a doorway. I'm trying to cancel it, because I want to I see if I can do this. Game, please. Please. Thank you. Hmm. Yeah, so that's not going to work. There must be... I'm assuming we get to unlock it another way, then? I guess that would have been too obvious. 
There he is. Dr. Dominic Nulo. Oh, you found your way here. Excellent. Yep, I'm ready to work. This job is really very simple. I'm a philosopher of sorts, and I trade in secrets. Oh, you know what? I forgot. This is the first guy that called us when the... Um, the repair car place disappeared. A repair shop. What kind of secrets? Not the kind old ladies trade over picket fences. Secrets of life. The universe. Everything. So you want me to find out secrets for you? Yes, exactly. I want you to explore the neighborhood, interview people, and bring me the secrets you discover. Great, I'll get right on that. When you discover a secret, bring it to me, and you can sell it for good money. Will you buy any secret? I'll pay you a little money for just about anything. But if you want the big bucks, you'll find me the secrets that I'm truly interested in. And you're looking for deep mysteries of the universe. Precisely. So are you up to it? Yes. <laughs> well, to make it more interesting, if you bring me five secrets, I'll actually pay you a bonus. Great, so you'll hear from me soon. In fact, I've been collecting. Let's have a look, players. Hmm. If I go down here, I've got... Where are the universe ones? Oh, that's spooky. Does this not count? What is this one? Biology? Secrets of the aliens? Engineering? Monsters? Huh. Government secrets? Motherfucker. Secrets of the undead? Romance? Secrets of the uncult? Intimidation? Huh. Did I not discover universe ones or what? Using. Very confuzzling. Hmm. Hey, I recognize these flowers. Pretty sure those are in The Sims 3, I feel like. Good sir, mind if I go... Can I go back here? I want to, like... I want to go back there. I think there's a secret... Oh, there's a secret! Oh, Red, thank you for the hand hearts. Oh, no... The fires of passion are rapidly wait, are readily extinguished by the asbestos blanket of responsibility. Okay. Thank you for the roses too, Red. That's fair, though. I mean, yeah, the nap definitely is going to throw that off. That fucking sucks. Um, I sure do, Len. Yeah, Lonnie? Yes, I do. Well, what do we, what do we want to do now? Meet Isaac. Sell five secrets to Doctor... Oh, yeah, we really did go ahead, huh? Wait, is this it then? Jose, is this it? If I complete one, two, one through six, is that the end? And then I guess the home one. And then technically, I guess we gotta do this one. Invite your first roommate. Is that it? That's crazy. It's actually not that long. Sell, yeah, we're, the, the five secrets will be a, kind of a pain in the ass. Meet Isaac. Okay, well, who's Isaac? Like you said, main characters are gonna be in homes, so let's go ahead and take a look these. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, I, I have a PS4 controller. All I did was I plugged the charging cable that came with my console. Um, USB, plugged into my computer, plugged this bad boy in, and boom, that was the end of it. I haven't even done any setups. The only thing I'm going to complain to you about is the square and triangle are reversed, and that's a little upsetty spaghettis. Oh, here you go. Not feeling, not feeling the vibe here either. Oh, you startled me. Did Roberta let you in? Yes, of course. Whoever that is, fuck it. We'll just say yes. It gets us in. That's just like her these days. No respect for schedules. Is this a bad time? To tell you the truth, I was just about to leave. Oh, don't let me keep you. Actually, no, let me keep you. My my wife Roberta has been malfunctioning lately. Malfun who? What? That's an odd way to talk about your wife. Oh, well, you know, I spend so much time inventing, I start to think of everyone as machines. <laughs> that makes perfect sense. Quite. She's just been acting so strange lately. Doesn't cook, and for heaven's sake, doesn't even clean. I'm at my wife's... I'm at my wit's end, so I'm heading into town to see if I can scrounge up some spare, uh... Wives? <laughs> Actually, I'm not quite sure what I'm after. All I know is, my wife needs help. So what do you need from me? Roberta gets so lonely sometimes. I'm just wondering if you could keep her company. She needs a friend badly. You just want me to be be befriend your wife? If you could. She's in such need for a soulmate. Uh, will you do it? Uh, okay. Thank you so much. I'll see you later. Uh, Taylor, thank you for the roses. Okay, that's interesting. So her? Literally a Sims 3 dance, but okay. Technically, you could argue it's a Sims 2 dance, because it came first. Very Susu. Your husband thought we should spend some time together. That sounds like fun. Hubby knows best. 
Did you do everything your husband tells you to do? Yes, everything. Um, does that make you, wait, yeah, does that make you happy? I'm sorry, you'll have to rephrase your question. Do you like following orders? I like everything, don't you? Uh, I, I like some things. Well, let's talk about some of your favorite things. Okay. Yeah, she's weird. She's a robot. She's a robot. Or she's mind controlled. What do you guys think? Robot or mind controlled? If you know the answer, I swear. Some of you here probably already know the answer. I'm going to say she's a robot. Shit. My, my, Yama. Zips your mouth closed. Bleef. <laughs> has an inexplicable craving to condition her hair with motor oil each morning. I don't think that's really a good idea. So now what? We have to sell this bullshit secrets, become close to Roberta, which we did talk to Roberta. I just can't take it anymore. You can't take the happiness you feel in my presence. I fucking knew it. Oh, Bzert. Bzert. I'm sorry, I don't quite understand. Critical error. Reticulating. Wait, is it reticulating? Reticulating splines? Oh my gosh. Ooh. I'm miserable. Miserable? Why? I don't know. It's just always the same thing every day. I want to make Isaac happy. I want to clean the house. I want to be cheerful all the time. But at the same time, I don't want to do those things. But I have to do them anyway. Why don't you just leave? Leave? Leave what? Leave this miserable life. Leave Isaac. I can't. I can't even think about that. So awful. So impossible. It might be the only way for you to be happy. Then I... But my programming forbids it. Your what? My programming... Ah, I knew it! You were a robot. Of course I'm a robot. What else would I be? Well, a human, I guess. You look human. But Isaac could never marry another human. Huh. Why not? That's how most people do it. Wait, you mean their other wives in Paradise Place, they're humans? I think so. You're the first robot wife I've ever met. But if they aren't robots, how do their husbands control them? Credit cards. <laughs> Passive-aggressive tactics. I mean, yeah. They don't control them. Those women are free to make their own choices. I like that answer because I think that's how it really should be for everybody. I've been so stupid. Now I know what Dr. Nulo meant. What he meant by what? He told me he had a program that would turn me into a normal wife. All the time, I thought I was the best wife in town. So his program would make me worse. But really, he wanted to make me free. Yeah, that sounds wonderful. I have to get that program. But I'm not allowed to leave the house. Hmm. Let me guess. You want me to go get it for you? Oh, could you? Um... Hmm. It's like no one in this town knows how to do things for themselves. Now I'll be nice. Of course, anything for you, Roberta. There's just one thing. Dr. Nulo and Isaac are friends. If Dr. Nulo finds out I got the program, it might get back to Isaac, and you'd be in trouble. He could wipe my memory at the moment I ran the virus. Uh, so I need to hack that virus off Dr. Nulo's computer so Isaac doesn't find it. You don't have to lie about it for long. Just give me time to pack up and leave. Okay, that's fair. Where's Dr. Nulo's computer? Oh, wait, this is going to be in the, um, that probably hidden bookshelf. I have no idea. I've never seen it. I know he has one, though. I've heard him talk about it. Maybe he has a private office somewhere. So, yes, it's that back room. Maybe. You'll have to look. He, it's probably somewhere in his house. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Ooh, my cellular communication device. Oh, my freaking ass, dude. It's hurting from all this sitting. Oh, hang on a second. Gotta wake it up a little bit. All right. Hello, it's Emily. I just wanted to let you know that your bills have just arrived. Motherfucker. All right, guess I'm gonna go pay my bills. Let me go pay my bills. 
Where do I live again? In front of the police car, right. Wow, guys. Make sure to stand up every now and again, everybody. Back checks. Anyone that's sitting, get, give it a good stand. You gotta get the blood flowing in the legs. Get the blood, blood, blood flowing in the ass, too. Gotta keep it moving. All I know is, sometimes when I am taking a shit, my ass will fall asleep. I'm sitting there for so long, trying to squeeze out a turd. Alright, I am gonna go back to that one guy's house. And I'm gonna see if there's a machine I can hack to unlock the bookshelf. I was certain that all I had to do was interact with a book, and it would have done the trick. Which house was I in? I think it's this one. Was it this one? Yes, it is this one. I don't think there's like a hack device around here, was there? Unless I missed it? Huh. Hmm, there's gotta be something. There's the back office, though. Hmm. Um, the hotel one was actually on the DS. Oh, there's literally a secret back there, guys. I see it. I want to get it. I want to get back there. I'm going to dig in this trash. Oh, whoopsies. Never mind. I threw away my trash. Oh, right. I gotta sell him bullshit secrets. My bad. Susu, Felici. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me sit down. Wait, why are these ones darker? Okay, so how about the alien one? It's exactly the kind of secret I've been looking for. I'll give you two, oh, 250 for it. Sure. One. You've already told me the people, okay. How about this one? Oh, it's engineering. Biology? Exactly, okay. So I don't think he wants this. Oh, no, he does. Bio All right. That's three. I, yeah, this is my first time playing it, actually, Open Wings. So one, two, three. How about this? Does this count? Does a cult type count? All right. I don't know if I have a fifth. I'm not sure. Um, Ethan, this is The Sims 2 PSP. I mean, unless they count these. I don't think government secrets count. Let me see. Oh, okay. Come back. Wait. He reminds me of the principal from Bully. He really does. Yes, what is it? I just gave you five secrets. You said I'd get a bonus. Oh, right, your bonus. Let me just get it out. What's that? What are you getting out? Where did he go? Now what? What the fuck? Find the doctor's hiding place. I know where he is. Let's do this. There appears to be a mechanism here to open a door. Oh, okay, so let's open it. Do we need a higher mechanical skill? Yaba. <laughs> Yoba. Or Yaba? What the fuck is... Oh dear, it looks like you found me. Yeah, I found you. I want my money. Oh, I want my car back. And I'm calling the police. Okay, um... I do want my money. I kind of want all those things. I want his... We should go for the money, the car, and call the police. We need all those things. How about... Hmm. We're good on money. Do kind of want the car back. That's the whole reason why we're in this situation. So give me that back. You are really pathetic. Start to say something really clever. Let me enlighten you. Ah, nothing to say? Has my mind control device dulled, dulled your wit? Let me explain how this is going to work. You are going to do everything I say. If you fail to do anything I say, this mind control device will drive you mad. Say you understand. Uh-oh, I understand. Excellent. You really are very clever. 
Now, you are going to walk out this door and leave me alone, do you understand? Then you will go about your normal life until I summon you again, do you understand? Perfect! You may go, I will speak with you again soon. Oh, uh, what the fuck, am I actually mind controlled? Please address me by my real name, Dr. Do Dominion. Goodbye, Dr. Dominion. Oh, my plum bob looks weird. I still want this secret, though. Give me this. Okay, this is pretty fucky. Wild Yeti are actually... Gl wait. Gla wait. Glacius? Glac Glacivorous? And only pose a threat to aggressive snowmen. Well, I can't, I can't say certain words. I'm just really struggling with certain words. Well, now I'm a robot. Now I'm a bot. I'm an NPC now. Wait, what do I do now? Obey Dr. Dominion? Maybe I should have just called the police. Or maybe I should have said don't hurt me. I wonder if that would have changed the course of anything. Well, we got close with Roberta. Steal liberator.exe from Dr. Nulo's computer. Maybe? That's what I was supposed to do. Wait a minute. My bad. Who the fuck is that? I must do this. Penelope. Yeah, I'll have to actually ask you the same question. Oh, I'm just house sitting for Dr. Nulo. He said he'd be gone for a while. We can only hope. Oh, my plumb bob's gone. Oh, yeah, he's got the fancy computer. Which is also, I think, in The Sims 3, right? It's definitely in The Sims 2. Hmm. Typing on it like he's never typed on a computer before. I did it! Damn it, game, I swear. There we go. Okay, so now we have to go back to Roberta. And then I think that'll be a good stopping point. Because it is actually 5 a.m. We're coming, Roberta. Seems that most of the game is really right here. This game is not bad, though. It's pretty quick. Yes, it's right here. Oh, hey, I kind, I feel kind of... Is it working? How can I tell? I don't know, you're the robot. Give me some money. Oh, it turned out you... It turned you into a criminal. What? Isaac never let me touch money. Give some to me, and we'll see if it chart, if I've changed. Um, okay. Here's a simoleon. I took it. I just took your money. Yes, I noticed. I'm free. So what are you going to do now? What do you mean? Well, are you leaving Isaac now? Actually, you know, I kind of like Isaac. I guess he is sort of lovable in a creepy way. You know, underneath all the re resentment, I think I really do care about him. But if you stay, won't he expect you to obey him all the time? I guess he'll be in for a surprise, huh? Let's see. I can't wait to see the look on his face, or, hmm, I don't know if a guy who builds himself a robot wife really wants an equal relationship. <laughs> Isaac doesn't really want a robot at all. He just wants a woman who will love him forever. And he thought that building an obedient robot was the only way to get that. I'll show him that he was wrong. You are very kind to give him a second chance. He's worth it. Well, I mean, I guess... I guess it's worth a shot since, I guess, you know, he did build her. Oh. Hey, Isaac. Didn't know he was going to be in here. Now I gotta go talk to Isaac. I guess we'll do that, and that should probably close out three, right? Wow, we're already, like, almost done with the game. I know, right, Red? Fucking Apex. Isn't it Broken Moon? China, China. Good heavens, you've done it, my friend. My wife is back to normal. She's tuned up and good as new. I think you'll find she's a little spunkier now. Ah, uh, yes, an interesting choice of phrase. She's, go she's doing things because she wants to now, not because you told her to. Brilliant. Do you realize... Oh, well, you couldn't possibly. You'd be surprised, actually. I thought it would never happen, but my wife has achieved real intelligence. 
That probably is the most patronizing thing I've ever heard. Thank you so much. You've saved my marriage, my career, my life's work. Hey, it's a living. Please, please accept some money as a token of my gratitude. I couldn't possibly. Oh, well, if you insist. Here. I hope that's enough. It's all I could find in the mess. It's plenty, thank you. No, thank you. If you ever need anything, let me know. Cool. Here we go, guys. What's going on now? Hello, slave. This is Dr. Dominion. Fuck. Yes, master. I have three tasks for you to perform. Are you ready to hear them? Yes, master. Go to Isaac Rosam's house. Yes. There, you will find his imagination lathe, his hyper-attractor, and his silly robotic wife. First, use the imagination lathe to create a small statue of a cow. An excellent plan, master. Then, take hold of the hyper-attractor and pull it free from its moor moo moo rings. Pull on Isaac's hyper-attractor, yes. Then give the cow and the hyper-attractor to Roberta. And speak the following words to her, in this order. Newsreader, waiter, trousers. Newsreader, waiter, trousers. You can't just say the words by themselves, or Isaac will be suspicious. Work them into a sentence. Newsreader, waiter, trousers in a sentence. Yes, master. That's it. Do you understand? Yes. Then I will leave you to your work. Goodbye, slave. That is so fucking wild, actually. That is kind of a weird turn. So now we have to do this. And that'll be tomorrow. I guess we'll be finishing the game tomorrow night. I love the recycled music. That was fun. Okay, um... We'll be back tomorrow. After... Yeah. I'll be back on tomorrow night. And we'll continue our Sims 2 and finish all that up. So... Yeah. <laughs> Alright, guys. Well, it's been real. Um, you guys all have a great rest of your day, night, morning, wherever you may be. And I'll be back on again tomorrow night. Hope to see you guys there. Have a good night. And, um... Yeah, I'll see you guys later. Oh, what a good time. Is it Qets? Well, welcome to the end of the stream. I usually stream like, I don't know, three hours ago, but tonight I started a little bit later, um, but I'll be back on tomorrow night. Um, so basically, whatever time it is for you right now, just subtract three hours, and that's when I'll be on tomorrow. And we're going to be finishing up The Sims 2 PSP. So if you'd like, I welcome you to join. Um, but anyways, all right. Until then, you guys have a good night, and I will, yeah, I'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow. So good night, everybody. Bree, thank you for the follow, and welcome to the community. Also, Open Wings, thank you for the follow. Welcome, you guys. So have a good night, you guys.